Does everyone know the Real Housewives like that? Yeah. Well, I wrote it after watching that. So you'll find out what I think about them. The Real Housewives franchise patronised the integrity of our lives. Pretentious, pretensions, hair extensions, eyelashes and yoga classes where fellas visit brasses. Pretty fake princesses setting the standard, but put them by the kitchen sink, they'd all be stranded. Everything handed on a silver platter, granite worktop, self-help workshops, urgent matter. Their gold-plated fridges filled with pink champagne, Prosecco Noir. Crystal glasses show who you are. No two-for-one, Echo Falls. Self-portraits adorn the mansion walls and their husbands play around with leather footballs. These aren't real housewives. Star drops, cigarettes, immaculate beehives. Cupboards filled the rafters with spices, dried peas and spam. My inspiration's me, ma'am. The love of money, all too revealing. There's more to life, shit with real meaning. Like watching your best friend stop breathing. Kids on the street from a knife wound bleeding. People begging for food and shelter. A woman scared he'll come home and belt her. An old man sat wishing his wife was still there and all you're asked about is the highlights in your hair. A girl sits, eyes closed, mouth open on the smoke of the dragon, she's choking. Two grand on shoes, are you joking? She does it to block out the childhood abuse. Her real housewife mother feels she's no use. So she drowns her sorrows daily in the pub and here you are spending a grand on a pub. All she needs is love and a hug. If you've worked your ass off, it's a different matter. Go on, girl, spin that platter, you little cracker. But if you live off someone else's fortune or ill-gotten gains, then we're riding in different lanes. Inclusion, exclusion by what you've got. Are these for real? Have they lost the plot? You can't take it with you, it's an illusion. Emily Pankhurst, the revolution pride gone like Lord Lucan, the nanny bludgeoned to death. I'll wait for mine till my last breath. Real housewives. Not quite. Independence is a birthright. And I know it's not all sweetness and light. But when I see these women on TV, I know exactly what I don't want to be. Thank you. <laughs> um, this next one I wrote after um, another kid had been killed by mine. So uh, this is called Mistaken Identity. She shuts the door after a long hard day. He just moved there. Eastbourne way. She puts on the mortise and the key in the hole. She's not going back out, not by barge pole. Unwraps a scarf and takes off a coat. If only she could find the remote. It's 9 p.m., time to retire. Get the logs ready for a nice warm fire. She curls up on the couch with her tea and toast. She's watching a game show. She fancies the host. Out of nowhere, there's a loud knock at the door. Who could it be? What time do you call this? It's 9.53. Two men stand in reflective jackets. Radio's making a racket. A black top hat and a truncheon is worn. It's a police uniform. Maybe come in, let's take a seat. The PC stands looking at his feet. This doesn't feel right. Something's wrong. Just say it. You're taking too long. Miss McKee, there's been an incident around the corner. I suggest you call your partner. A rush of fear and dread. Miss McKee, can you hear me? He's dead. He was shot in the side. I'm sorry, he died. The PC has tears in his eyes. Is he for real or is this just a dream? The woman lets out an horrendous scream. Slam. She falls to the floor. 
She stopped listening. She can't hear no more. 52A Princess Street. A warm, friendly place where people like to meet. Katie stands preparing her favourite meal, potatoes and gravy with a slice of veal. Tonight she's alone, no one will be in for hours. Her favourite chair likes it, looks like it's from Faulty Towers. Painted on the arm with pretty pink flowers. She looks at the clock, a big fancy hen. It's 9pm. She opens her book, ready to read the title. Where the road might lead, a tale of seduction, money and greed. Ding dong, the doorbell chimes. It's the police. What do they want? They investigate crimes. Miss O'Lock, can we come in? It's about an incident involving your twin boys fighting blue lights flashing. The convo is lost, it goes in a blade. The policeman stands fixing his hair. He's down at the station, you'll have to come with me. It's 9.53. He's born way, it's 10 p.m. When will I see my baby again? It's cold, she puts on a coat, she can't breathe, she has a lump in her throat, they wait, make their way to the hospital morgue, she's sick, she starts the walk, she saw the outline of her body surrounded by chalk and cheese, thinking, unblinking, not my boy, please. They arrive, it's 10.05, Eastbourne Way, it's 10 o'clock, you've got the wrong door. You've got the wrong block. What they're saying, it can't be true. He's a good boy. Is my baby blue? Born summer, 91. She thinks the time's by gone. Part of a pair with curly blonde hair. He still sleeps with his teddy bear. Wishing she was still sitting in her favorite chair. They pull up to the station. She's thinking, unblinking about the altercation. Thanking God her boy's alive. It's 10.05. One mum stands behind a mirrored screen. They open the curtains. She lets out a scream. A boy laid out on a slab. She sees his hand. She wants to grab. It looks cool. This boy is 12 years old. Ada Gina's date of birth. Too beautiful for it. The other mother sits in the interview room, waiting for the child she once had in her womb. He walks in, pale and grim, outstretched arms. She cuddles him in disbelief. The reality of the other mother's grief. Years until he's free. It's 10.53. As the door shut on the lives these women had, slammed by the hand that took their lad away, the night the police came knocking. Their lives before will never be forgotten. One boy in a cell rocking. The other lay to rest in a chestnut coffin. Two events happening in matching time frame. One thing to blame. Mistaken identity. I need to get a drink because my mouth's dead dry because I'm not nervous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this next one is called Survival. And where I, where I live in Liverpool, um, it's where a lot of girls work on the street. So this is called survival. Hair scraped back in a tiny ponytail. Skin grey, thin and pale. As a toke of a spliff, a sip of stale ale. Detail black as a teeth. As she prepares to walk the streets. A fancy car pulls up beside her. Offers her a cigarette, a bottle of cider. 
before she knows it, it'll be deep inside her. A regular punt her offers to buy her a rock. Small price to pay for sucking his cock crows at midnight. On another girl's patch, it'll end in a fight. Cometh the hour, cometh the crack. Once you're there, you're not going back. Heroin makes her feel warm and relaxed. Struggling to find a vein, she'll use a toe. Anything to have the brown in her blood flow. She'll steal from you and help you look for the things she stole. The devil's got her soul. When she makes her money, she can mingle deal her, but not before this man gets the feel of between his legs. Smells of whiskey with piss on his kecks. Likes to be tied up and gagged. She wouldn't do it only hooped on smack. Another punter, busy, married man. Beautiful wife, big house and a caravan. Says his wife won't do what he wants. Have you asked her? Is there a response? He feels ashamed, but he'll be back in just a few days. Rain, hail, sun, snow on the street. She'll go, no self-confidence, rattling for the tackling. Hey, mate, want any business? All your wishes are for Philly. Except for that. I won't do that. I paid you for the hour, you dirty little slag. You'll do what I say. Pulls out a blade from the car doorway. Puts it to her neck. No one's seen you getting in. I've had a good check. Locks the doors and drives off fast. If she was to die, his face would be the last. So she'll do what she has to do to survival mode. Pulls up to a street in a dark side road. Take off your clothes. She does. Shaken, but pretending to be calm. Feels her throat between his palms. Punches it in the face till it all goes black. Hits so hard her jaw is snapped. Rapes her while she's unconscious. Records the old thing so we can go home and watch it. And whilst he does, a dog walker finds her. Cold, naked, unresponsive. This is my last one. And as you can see, like some of the ones that I've just done there are like a little bit dark, a little bit heavy, and it's gotta be said. <laughs> this next one I wrote um, around New Year, and they're like, where you going? Oh yeah, I'm gonna change this year, I'm gonna change. Yeah, I wrote it there, but this is, Sure, what's coming from my uh, place? I'll let it speak for itself. It's called Old Me. Old Me, trust me when I say I'm proud of you, but I'm glad that you're gone. Because now I know where my strength comes from. Right now, you're going through it. And right now, I feel the benefit of your conflict. The situations and people you misjudge. There's years you burn yourself by holding a grudge. Old me, you think too much. Drink too much, do too many drugs. You feel so low that you want to get high. Life's paused, left on standby. Stuck still, asking yourself why things happen. You burden yourself in there, standing there laughing and you take a hit. Think you can't get through it, but you do. Your life gets better than you could ever predict. Reach places you didn't know exist. Understand this. Carefully you give the key to your life to. Who you surround yourself with influences you. Learn to say hi and bye. Nothing lasts forever. As hard as you try. There's going to be people that don't love you for you. They are there to take from you. Refuse to be used. You win. It's them who lose. Don't break your back for those who don't have yours. But remember, we all have our flaws. Old me, start to see right through. 
old me, you paddle your own canoe, though you make mistakes, my mistakes. There's gonna be times that your heart just breaks, but you keep the faith for as long as it takes. Old me, you're a warrior. But old me, you're a warrior, a victor, and all your demons, they don't beat you. You tell them your secrets, you tell them your life. The devil smiles and sharpens his knife, and the darkness will try to block out your light. But oh me, you're much stronger than that, and you take off its head with a baseball bat. Too wise for that. You're the opposite of that. Contrast. No contest for that. you set apart. William Wallace. Braveheart. Old me. You need it to grow. Old me, you need it to know. Something inside of you, you need it to show. Their nameless faces, they need it to go. But you already know this, though. All the bads will all be weighed by good. Old me, you blossom the way that you should. When the darkness tries to get the best of you, you don't let it stress you. You don't let it break you. It's there to test you. It's there to make you. Believe that is true. One day you'll sit and write a letter to you. There's going to be a time that you're kinder to yourself. There's going to be a time that you can take a breath, take care of your health, have knowledge, no stress. Oh me, one day you're going to wake up and say, shit, I did it. Old me, thank you.